if you have a budget or low end cpu on your computer so to in this video i'm gonna show you how you can optimize your cpu in order to get 240 plus fps in fortnite or any other game so guys make sure to watch this whole video if this is your first time here please subscribe drop a like and without wasting any time let's dive straight into over this video so guys before starting this video please let me know your pc specs therefore i can help you further to optimize your pc so guys in the very first step we are going to update the drivers on our computer because for properly running the cpu you need to update all the drivers so for that simply right click on your windows start icon and go for the device manager here you will find our device manager and all the drivers available on your pc this is just a basic tool but guys you need driver booster on your pc in order to update all the machine drivers from your pc so guys here you can check it out here all these drivers need a update for properly optimizing your cpu so guys you need to go for this update now button simply check mark on this box and you will select all the outdated drivers on your pc after that click on this update now button check mark or the don't remind me again and click ok and they will start downloading all these drivers on your pc this will take a little time to downloading and installing all the outdated drivers so guys now in the next step we are going to optimize our windows power plan in order to optimize our cpu so for that you need to go for your windows search icon and search for power and open up choose a power plan now select out here your high performance power plan and go for the change plan settings and open up change advanced power settings. Once you go out here this pop up now you need to go for the high performance and set the settings onto the no. Now go for hard disk, go for turn off hard disk and also set the settings onto the never or onto the zero. After that scroll down go for this processor power management and this is one of the main option inside your windows power plan so guys now simply go for a minimum processor state and maximum processor state so click on the expand button and set the settings onto the 100 percent for having the maximum performance out of your cpu now click on the supply button click ok and close out of this window so guys now the next step you need malware byte on your pc in order to remove and scan all the malwares and viruses from your pc because this is also making your pc slow so therefore you need this tool and you can find out the link in the description for downloading this tool so once you have installed the malware byte on your pc here you will find out this kind of the interface of the software now the very first step you need to go for the security option and go for the scan and start scanning your pc in order to find and remove the viruses from your pc so guys here is the results for the scanning and you can check it out here it's take around 1 minute and 5 seconds and here is the total number of files scanned by the malware byte and guys here is the detection which we got on our pc so now we need to remove all these viruses from our pc so guys you need to select all these files from here after that click on this quarantine button and remove and quarantine all these threads from your pc and guys that's it now click on this done button and now simply close out malware byte from your pc so guys now the next step you need hw meter on your pc in order to analyze the temperature of your cpu or processor and you can find the software link in the description simply go there and download and install this tool on your pc after installation here you will find out this kind of interface and here you will find out all the detail of your computer so guys here you will find out your cpu and here you will find out the temperature of your cpu you will find out here these packages and guys right now the temperature that is the 52 degrees celsius and guys you need to always keep this temperature under 80 degrees celsius that consider as a safe temperature if you have a high temperature on your cpu you can clean your pc and improve the airflow in your system by removing the side glass from your pc casing so guys the next software you need with the software that is the power control for optimizing over cpu performance and also keep your eyes on the temperature of your cpu so open up power control on your pc simply double tap and open up the software and you can find out the link in the description simply go and download all these files on your pc which i will show you so guys here you will find out this kind of interface you need to go for this drop down and set it on to the high performance now click on the make activate and this will activate all the cores and thread of your processor now you need to go for plugged in ac this is for the desktop users and on battery dc this is for the laptop users so you need to use the same the settings also on your pc after that go for with some dynamic boost enable show power play notification and show park settings in the windows power option make sure to guys enable all the boxes from here after that click on the apply changes 
and click ok and park control will keep running on your pc whenever you turn on your pc so guys now the next step we are going to disable all the bag and running application from our pc that is consuming a lot of our pc resources so guys for that right click on your taskbar and open up the task manager now you need to go for the performance tab go for cpu and here you will find our total number of processes is running on your pc and you need to lower these values you can do it by installing a custom gaming os like atlas os and you can reduce the number of processes this can be higher for you but i have already optimized a lot of processes so therefore it is 144 for me so guys close out of your task manager now you need to go for your system tray and here you will find out this kind of the startup application running on your PC and you need to lower these numbers so guys for that again right click here open up the task manager now you need to go for startup apps and here you will find that all the apps available on your PC so in the very first step you need to click on the startup impact and sorted your application from high impact to no impact so guys here we got our riot game so guys we cannot disable it so therefore it is enabled on our PC next you will find our epic games launcher enable it steam i have already disabled it discord i have already disabled it light shoot i have enabled it because this have medium impact then here we go the ccx process this is for the adobe so i have enabled it then we got here the idm this is for the downloading file so i have already disabled it so guys next here we go this mz ram booster so this is not the important simply right click here and disable it then here we got our c cleaner right click here and also disable it and guys like it you need to disable all the unnecessary applications from your pc after that you need to go for the services options and you can also disable all the unused services from here like for example if you go for the bluetooth service so guys right click here and stop the service on your pc i have already stopped it go for bluetooth service services go for it and stop it on your pc now press w from your keyboard and you will find out here this valid service so guys right click here and stop this application now after that you need to press s from your keyboard and find out this main that used a lot of windows resources so guys simply scroll down find out this pain right click here and also stop this service from your pc now scroll all the way down there you'll find out xbox services so i have already disabled all these useless services from my pc after that now simply close out of your task manager now in the next step we are going to optimize our window settings so for that you need to go for your windows start icon and open up your window settings now go for this gaming tab go for game bar and make sure to turn off the game bar on your pc now go back go for captures make sure to turn off all the settings now go back and open up the gaming mode and also make sure to turn off the game mode on your pc because according to windows this will optimize your pc but according to my experience this is limiting the performance of your pc so therefore i suggest you to turn off the settings after that go for the related settings and open up your graphic settings go for default settings and open up change default graphic settings now from here turn on hardware accelerated gpu scheduling and turn off all these other option and go for your windows update section make sure to go for check for update and download and install all the available latest update on your pc after that now close out of your windows settings now in the next step we are going to optimize our fortnite settings so for that you need to open up your file explorer go for your c drive now go for program file open up epic games fortnite fortnite game binary win64 now scroll down and find out here this kind of the launcher file for your fortnite so go for the properties now i need to go for compatibility now check mark onto the disable full screen optimization and go for change high dpi and also check mark onto the override high dpi scaling behavior now hit ok hit apply click ok and close out of this directory so now in the next step you need to open up the epic games launcher on your pc and go for your profile option and open up epic game settings now scroll all the way down and here you will find that your fortnite game so click on this drop down check mark onto the additional command line argument and guys use this command use all available codes for optimizing the performance of your cpu for the fortnite the no splash and minus high after that now simply close out of it now the next step you need to go for library tabs now go for three doors open up the options and follow the same settings inside your fortnite like make sure to guys download pre-download steam acid and if you are not using the direct express so guys also don't download or use the direct shadows on your pc after that click on the apply button and launch the fortnite on your pc 
So guys, here we have launched the Fortnite on our PC. Now you need to go for your taskbar, open up the task manager on your PC. Now go for the processes option and here you'll find that all the processes running on your PC. Now you need to simply find out here this Fortnite, right click here and open up, go to detail. Now here you will find that your Fortnite process. So guys, right click here. Now you need to go for set purity and guys set it on to the high purity for having the best performance of your CPU for the Fortnite. Now you need to go for set affinity and guys select out all the CPU cores from this list and hit OK and close out of your task manager. Now you need to one time reach your PC therefore all the changes take effect after that launch your Fortnite and enjoy the best performance out of your any low end PC or laptop. So guys please make sure to let me know your input about this video in the comment section and see you again in the next video.